All right, why New York City has so much rats, bro? Rats? I know there's quite a bit. Why do they? I mean, look, look at the place, bro. In my opinion, kind of easy to tell. It just says so much volume uh, and uh, so much food stuff, food, food carts and whatever, you know? Rats can easily just go in the trash, just like I did when I was a homeless person, and grab, like, free food or, like, leftover food that people just don't finish or, you know... You know what I mean? Let's, but let's check it out. There might be a different reason. Each day, New York's crowded streets are abundant with the sight. That's cool. They have a park right there, man. It's got a random park. Good, uh, good. When they have like the. Oh my gosh! There's so many people, bro. Is there even wiggle room here, guys? <laughs> Smells and pizza, by the way. Sounds that. I just want to try New York pizza once in my life, guys. Make the city so easily recognizable. But at night, something else scurries around the city streets. Oh my gosh, so many of them, bro. New York is known for it. Might as well get some pep. <laughs> guys. They're, they're known for it at this point, right, guys? Everybody knows about the New York rats. There's not sure Ratatouille is based on the new, a rat in New York, but the rats, bro. Just the rats. It's rats. Next to the pigeon, they are probably... Oh, yeah. Can't forget the, about the pigeon. Probably the closest thing the city has to a mascot. <laughs> Look at his eyes, bro. They're, like, bulging out, man. What the heck? Yuck. They are fascinating. They are, are complex in their behavior. And they're super agile, guys. They'd be uh, doing gymnastics. Back when we had a rat problem, they would be in the walls, in the house, everywhere, bro. Like Other people obviously would think that they are disgusting. They're vermin. <laughs> Look at their little paws, man. People who move here from out of state are just not ready for the amount of rats that we have dang bro did they just were literally find them all just chilling right there like oh my gosh like tom and jerry man i think a cat would have a fun in new york right guys they got the birds they got the they got the rats as well they can hunt down like oh my god New York City has long been considered one of the rattiest cities in America. It said rattiest city. Oh my gosh. Some estimate around 2 million rats call it home. Well, I thought it'd be more, but that's still quite most a bit. New Yorkers have accepted rats as part of Yo, that rat has food for a while now. In life, they pose various health risks. And while go yeah. government agencies work to manage It'd be cool if they didn't pose a health risk, you know what I mean? The problem. Some New Yorkers have taken it into their own hands. I now, those good dogs are, uh, they're so good at taking out rats. There's even a YouTuber that just gets, makes a career off hunting rats. And he has a YouTube channel and everything, guys. Uh. I see rats that you don't. Oh, snap. They're going bananas here tonight. That's a, such a huge, you know, it's like a miniature cat, bro. Like, that's a huge rat. Here is how New York City rats out its rodents. At our news, guys. They got, like, nearly one mil subs. Not sure if there's just a YouTube channel or, like, um, actual, like, television place, but... Rats have been here since the city was founded. Rats have lived in the city. Rats have survived in the city by the law of large numbers. Yeah, man, it looks like they're not going anywhere. Our dogs are distant cousins of rats. Richard Reynolds and his team of rat hunting canines have prowled the streets of New York City for nearly 30 years. The dogs are trained to dispatch rats. They have jobs. If they do, there are catch dogs that stand out away from the action and wait for rats to run. Then you have the push dogs that go into trash bags and other places and make the rats bolt to the catch dogs. This dog right here, uh, Rommel, he's a Yog Terrier. 
Oh my gosh, bro. Look at him. <laughs> He's doing his job, man. These little... They're not even that big of a dog, but they're just doing their job. He in the group as he sniffs him out, and he kind of like sets him up so the other dogs can knock him down, so to speak. Well, you're going to see... Uh, yeah, guys, this guy's straight up climbing the fence. What looks like mayhem, it's actually very controlled mayhem and very well-planned mayhem. Right camera, camera with me! Give me a camera! I need a camera over here! Over here! Right there, you guys ready? Here we go! Here we go, party! You know, just put that dog in the trash can. Man, that dog be uh, hopefully earning some extra treats for this, right, guys? In New York City, uh, the so many. Look at their tails, bro. It looks like a rubber band or something. That we see is the Rattus norvegicus, commonly referred to as the Norway rat, but probably more accurately referred to as the brown rat. These brown rats made their New York City debut in the mid 17s. Oh my gosh. They even get applause here. Hundreds. As ships would set sail for the colonies, rats would stow away on board and find a home in the new world. What has made them so successful in New York City is that there's always been a dense population of people that have provided food and water for them. And give Damn, bro. Some are even feeding them. Those essential needs for survival, they have done very well. Rats are nothing short of adaptable. They can survive on... Hey, bro, they're, they're leaving out like little bowls like, you know, you would for a stray cat or something. Just one ounce of food and water each day. Dang, that's it? What the heck? No way, man. They also reproduce quickly with the average gestation period like... Dang, bro. They're like upgraded uh, termites or whatever. I mean, uh, roaches, guys. A lot bigger. These things are seem to be a huge pest, man. From 21 to 23 days. A female rat births around eight pups in a single litter. These They're called pups, like puppies, guys. Newborns <laughs> will then begin to reproduce with other rats in just five weeks. Since they arrived centuries ago, rats have evolved into two distinct groups. And like human New Yorkers, they can be classified by their neighborhoods. What the heck? Town and downtown rats. No way, no way. Ma imagine, uh, like in the future, guys. They 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 develop their own ecosystem. They actually look like this, guys. Like you know, we're we're so advanced that we're like more advanced than them. But they they also evolved, and they have stuff like this. They they would actually have tattoos and like clothing and stuff. Like that'd be so interesting. A 2017 study from Fordham University found that both groups differ genetically and are separated by a geographic barrier, Midtown. But Midtown... What the heck? They're even separated, bro? Manhattan is not rat free. It's like how New York has like certain areas for certain like cultures and stuff, man. Not even close. The area is more of a commercial district. There is less household trash and backyard space for rats to thrive off of than in uptown or downtown Manhattan. You know, they have some really fantastic abilities that allow them to navigate human environments very successfully. Being that rats and mice also... Definitely. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have some living in our house currently, guys. ...carry a ton of pathogens. It is a matter of public health. Yeah. yeah I mean, they are cute, but... They, they seem to be a problem, guys. They carry things like toxoplasmosis, salmonella. Oh, no, wait, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, uh, the bubonic plague, and we don't want any of that. It's usually the exterminator that gets the first call when a rat is spotted. I am an exterminator, and I'm an owner operator of my own company. I do extermination of rodents, insects, and wildlife trapping. As an exterminator, uh, hey bro, they got a whole community of them, bro. A typical day is getting up super, super early so I can see the action. I have keys for almost all of my restaurants. No one is around, it's quiet. I sneak in, I keep the lights off, I grab my flashlight, I flash it around the location, and I look to see what's scattering. Her little career is exterminating, bro. So there's an entire ecosystem in the wall voice of New York City buildings at all times. 
that would probably make a lot of people want to vomit and jump out of their skin. He's determined to get that one. <laughs> As you can see, somebody tries to close the rodent hole with spray foam. And generally, a rodent can gnaw through weak concrete, mortar, wood, very easily, and plastic. So You can go through concrete, guys. Yo, anyone else? Uh, guys, I used to hear them in the walls and stuff. I'd be like, yo, what's that sound, bro? They'd be living in my walls, guys. And it kind of scared me. I was like, dude, is someone over there, bro? It's probably like some rat, like, chewing up the, the house structure, man. So something like this does not keep them out. The entry point for this building in particular is right here. You can see that there's a hole in the building. If I stick my hand up, it just goes all the way up. So there is a gap where there's a lack of insulation. Definitely no solid insulation. And if you look at these brown marks right here. They, they have probably have like intricate tunnel systems, bro. You know what I mean? Where the concrete goes from gray to this dark color. That's actually from the rat's body. It's an oil they secrete called sebum. It leaves the scent trail and it will... Thing. Even we produce sebum, I think. Invite other rats to actually follow them up in here. As we could see by the extreme amount of dark in color, there is quite an infestation, and we've got some droppings right here in the corner um, and the scent of urine. If I was in charge of getting rid of. Dang, man, these guys are taking over the city, bro. They got defense systems and everything, guys. All the rats, the very first thing I would do would be to get rodent-proof trash receptacles. If you eliminate the competing food source, the rats will be more likely to, one, not... Dang, bro, that, that looks like a super outdated, uh, thing, guys. Like, I would take that can right there and put it in my recycle bag. I used to collect... Uh, guys, when I got back from homeless, homelessness, I used to always, uh... I, I recycled for like a month straight, man. And I, I made only $100 a week, but it's some good money. Not breed as often. Two, not set up shop in places where people are. They're with us because of our garbage and our littering. In the summer of 2017, the city launched a $32 million citywide initiative to reduce the rat population in three target areas by 70%. The city installed 336 big belly solar compactors with no accessible entryway for the rats. That's good, that's good. Guys, we should have that where I live, man. Not gonna lie. The city now requires But those those take some maintenance for sure, guys. Like increased trash pickups. And any person caught illegally dumping trash faces heavy fines. But some of these new and improved trash cans are not as effective as advertised. There you see solar powered, compacting, rat proof can, whose purpose is totally defeated by being left open, by all the stuff around the edges. So you might just as well have a regular old container. They don't work because they don't lock them. So the rats will win down below. Damn, bro. They're even uh, coming with, up with ways to take out the... <laughs> to, to, to get around these guys. So city exterminators look to other methods. There is a rodent bait station, and this is being used by the Department of Health. Guys, I see these everywhere where I live, guys. Like, when I was homeless, I'd always see the, these guys all the time, bro. Because I'd be always around buildings and stuff, like... You know, just walking around buildings and getting it, getting it in between places, and yeah, I'd see these everywhere, guys. To manage a known population, and so inside would be most likely either a rodenticide that is a bait that the rodent would feed on, and then within a week or so um, succumbs to the active ingredient. Or um, in some cases, what they do is they have a non-toxic bait, so it doesn't have the active ingredient, and then they'll put snap traps in there. So the rodent will come, they'll get used to the bait, and then they'll deploy a trap, and that will catch the rodent that comes in. Bro, 
they got where what they have like a you know underground cities or something bro these guys can dig bro but still rats persist and you know what I mean look at all of them bro how they even find the this guys have taken it upon themselves to manage the problem camera, camera with me. Give me the camera. I need the camera over here over here right there you guys ready here we go here we go party Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking oh about. snap. We started about 30 years ago. Hey, man, they're so big, bro. They're larger than our hand. Like, they're pretty big. New Jersey. They're probably as large as a foot, right, guys? Like, dang. In Liberty man. State Park, and, uh, he is screaming, man, the poor guy. We, but hey, they are a nuisance. A show there that was fairly overrun. Bro has his poodle, bro. It looks like you could. I wonder my chihuahua. Maybe I might even show my, my chihuahua might be able to take out the, some of the smaller ones, guys. Rats and the uh, some of our dogs decided on their own to handle the problem, and the uh, park superintendent saw that and said, "Hey, can you guys come back and?" Uh, Man, that was so. That'd be so cool if they can hire me to do this. Uh, make it a regular thing, and Rats was born. Any dog will catch a rat. Any dog will kill a rat. The terriers do it faster and better than the other breeds, and they 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 endure. They have so just a mid-sized dog, basically. The, the tenacity to hang in there. A hundred rats a night are not enough for them. You, they they still want more. Oh man, that thing is a cold-blooded. Attacker, bro. I'm probably warm blooded, but you know what I mean. It's a phrase. We're not really having an effect on the rat population in New York. We do it for the dogs first, for the enrichment, for the fulfillment of the dogs' DNA. We're helping the community out secondary to it, which is good. But you're never going to control a rat population in New York City. It's a never ending thing. I know, right? There's probably more made than they all hunted. They, they re reproduce. More than uh, the, the, than they in total hunted, but hey, it, it, it helps the health of the, the dog, though. So, from traps to improving sanitation to hunting dogs, people are always coming up with ways to wage war on the city's rats. Exterminators, researchers, and city. I'm sure somebody with a pet rat would not like this, guys. But hey, they seem to be you know bad for. Officials alike urge New Yorkers to be vigilant in doing their part. The only thing that's ever going to reduce rats to a manageable level is to clean up. If you remove the food supply, the rats go away. Plain and simple. It's important that we consider we, we want to manage the problem, but the problem didn't start in one day. The problem started over time as rodents were attracted to an area for food. Hey, bro. And so now He's got a nice little uh, tunnel right there, guys. Not gonna lie. We have to take that time to manage the population effectively. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to eliminate the problem from a site. Yo, Tezani. Tezani commented, yo. I wonder if he still uploads. You know who I am? Hey. <laughs> I wish this video had more views, but yeah, it kind of uploads kind of often. Really, though. We have, we, he said only 2 million, that's less than the human population. That is. We had a bad rat problem here in my house. One day I saw a rat kill another rat. What the heck? But my son had a great solution. We got a cat. Hey, his profile picture is the cat. Within the first night, they booked it. The mere cat, the presence of a cat, terrified them. They ran rapid through my house for more than a year, and one day we're gone. <laughs> I was in New York in November down in Manhattan. I'd never seen so much trash thrown out on the side. I'd say fixing the trash problem would definitely help. Yeah, but what if they try to break into like businesses and stuff? I don't know, guys. But yeah, probably. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one. Check out Cheddar in the description. Cheddar, as in, like, you know, rats like cheese. Later, guys.